This is so sore. It's not like extremely sore. Uh, mm -hmm. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with my rib cage tattoo experience, kind of talk through. My Today is the 6th of January and I got my tattoo done on the 11th of December. Ah! I will leave pictures and clips of everything so you guys know what I'm talking about. I look so bald headed, like my hair needs fixing. So let's get talking. So I had originally sent my kind of design that I wanted and I can't remember which one it was but <laughs> I wanted something similar to it so I sent off what I wanted and I wanted something similar so I will have the pictures on the screen what I wanted what I ended up getting now this was such a painful painful experience for me <laughs> I'm not gonna lie it was such a painful thing so uh, first when we got in I got to sign my consent form he spoke to me about everything blah 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 all that jazz no one told me I should have ate something. <laughs> I went on an empty stomach. I was hungry. So overall, this took about almost four hours. It is pretty big, just looking at it from there. So obviously, my tattoo now has healed. It took about two weeks to properly heal. People do say it takes longer. It can take up to a month for one tattoo that big to heal. So thank Christ that that's healed i am gonna have a separate video probably coming out next week on like basically just how i took care of the tattoo with videos and clips of how it was looking during the peeling stage after just the whole process it was interesting so obviously i'll show you guys what the i showed you guys what the thingy the design looked like that's the word design looked like before it was attached on to me and right now i'll insert just either a little video or yeah i'll put a little boomerang on the side of what the stentally part looked like <sighs> this tattoo was so damn painful i oh i actually literally cried like i cried i have a few clips which i will put in now clear but it was good enough to show you guys because obviously I came with my friend and I just didn't want her being like all up in there trying to see everything because boy it was sore it was so painful it got to like um I don't know like there's little circles in the tattoo let me show you here so there's these little circles I don't know if you can see them properly focus can we focus well, yeah, there's little circles like in there, in there, in there, and in there. And when this one up here, the one that's up here was done, I I literally cried. Like, I was <laughs> in tears. It was so painful. I nearly asked the guy. I was like, oh my God, can we stop and continue another time? But I knew for a fact if I stopped, I was never coming back because it was so painful. 
like I got my first tattoo done and that was calm it was only sore like on one little bit but besides that it was like a breeze like quick pain free but on the rib oh my god it's a different story don't go there don't do it you will cry you will actually cry and it's not even like I only have like a little bit of a tattoo I've got the whole damn thing and it's so damn painful <laughs> it was painful the healing part that was a different story oh my god I felt like crap <laughs> but when it was done it was all nice I was happy I was pleased with the way it came out pleased except there's one part that looks a bit weird to me it looks a bit weird I don't know if it's the way I look at it or the way I squishy squishy but yeah overall I would I would I ever get another rib tattoo the yeah, heck no but it was a it was an experience I'm, I'm glad I went through with it it was so painful but I think it was worth it